Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. Today's Sunday gear review. We're here at C2 Tactical doing some shooting today, but I want to talk to you about the only hybrid like holster that I like. It is the Black Arch Protoss M. Big Tech's Outdoors has holsters, accessories, optics, and other parts that you need as a self defender. I'm one of his customers and I recommend him highly. Check out the page on our website with our favorite deals. So, full disclosure, Mia Culpa, Black Arch is a sponsor. They are one of our part of our holster consortium. And so some people are gonna say, hey John, that means that you're biased. The reality is, I reviewed this holster and after the review of this holster, after seeing that this holster actually meets the requirements and does what it needs to do, I invited them to be a part of the holster consortium. So that's how we do things at Active Cell Protection, but Mia Culpa in terms of reviews and all that stuff, this guy, uh, you know, this company, good people, but they are a sponsor, so they send me money. So take that for what it's worth. Now then, you might wanna go back and see the old video that I said all hybrid holsters are awful. It is actually one that continues to get views on the channel and continues to get me hate and discontent. But I'm gonna tell you why I actually like this one. Number one, I don't really care about the mesh backer, though the mesh is kinda nice. It's, it breathes a little nicer than the leather and this guy has leather and all that stuff. But the reason that this guy actually is allowed and the reason that I say this is the only hybrid-like holster instead of hybrid holster is if you look here, you can actually see as I peel the backer away, what you have here is you have a full Kydex holster. So the trigger guard here is completely covered by by Kydex. So this actually truly is a three quarter Kydex holster married to a backer of softness. So then that way, when you put it on your strong side, it's soft on your fluffy bits. Okay. So this is uh, the one that I think does okay. Now, when you order this guy, this particular one is for a VP9 and I'm going to show you a little bit of that in a second. Um, it comes standard default with these cheap plastic clips jettison that this is the one they sent me get rid of that and get the dcc uh the discrete carry concept clips infinitely better again this one is uh just for a demo unit and for me to use to kind of see what was going on with it so it works okay ditch those so three requirements of a holster right first thing is it has to cover the trigger guard completely and so we put the gun in the holster click one of the things you'll notice you see how it's covered completely and covered on the back side completely. So because of that, you cannot in any way access the trigger guard. Aha, this is the one that so many holsters fail on, not this one. Second of all, holds the firearm securely. So we have an unloaded gun here. It's been verified just a second ago. Um, and one of the things we do is we don't you know, clamp down on the holster like this. We kind of hold it where it's not an unloaded gun and we give it a gentle shake, not a crazy shake. I'm not trying to have an earthquake, but it should hold that in there. And this one does because it's a three quarter Kydex. So you see, the idea that says, you can hear that enough of a click that it holds the gun in there and holds it uh, securely. Final thing is that it has to allow the, the, hold the gun to be accessed reliably. And that means it, you have to be able to get a full firing grip on the gun. That either means behind the thumb, you know, a behind the thumb grip or a claw grip. This particular one, because it has a combat cut on it, handles all of those. So this, this holster does all the things that a holster has to do in order to be an acceptable holster. In particular, because again, the entire trigger guard is covered with Kydex. And so it covers the trigger guard completely, holds the firearm securely, allows access to the firearm reliably. That's a win. So let's put it on and see how it does. You can adjust the height and all that stuff on this holster, okay? So, so your right height and all that stuff can be adjusted. For me, one of the things that I want to see is I can put my fingers all the way through this and get a full grip on the gun. So because of that, now I can get the gun out of the holster and go do all the work I need to do. When we go back to the holster, again, I tap the outside until it clicks all the way in and it goes, that's a win. And finally, you can see I wore this holster for a while, not much of a strong side carrier, but it conceals just fine. It, it does what it needs to do to keep the butt of the gun kind of in on me like this. I got all my range stuff on, so it's not as good as it possibly could be, but it does concealment just fine. This is a shirt that I haven't worn a ton in the last little bit. So uh, the Black Arc Protoss M, yeah, I like it. I think it's a good and acceptable holster. And if you're looking for a strong side holster, something that was like a hybrid because it's a little more comfortable for you, the Black Arch Protoss M is the one I recommend.